Hey guys, it's Jessica, and today I have a small charm update for you. I hope you like everything. The first things I have here are two goldfish charms. I'm thinking about making them into necklaces, but let me guys know what you think I should do. The next thing are these two Facebook charms, and I'm thinking about making other social media things as well and making a charm bracelet. Here we have some Pokemon badges and I only got to make two of them but I do plan on making more. Next we have this Game of Thrones dragon egg necklace and it is a black dragon egg with gold on it and it is condensed at the bottom with sparkles and then it has a gradient effect going upwards and it is a necklace. Here we have this bouquet of roses ring and this took me forever to make because each rose is handmade and I'm thinking about doing a tutorial about how I make my roses so let me know in the comments below if you guys would be interested in that. Next we have Happy the flying cat from Fairy Tail, and he is not glazed yet but he will be soon. Here we have this small key in a bottle charm and I just wanted to see if I could fit it in there. I'm not really a huge fan of how the key turned out because I think it looks a bit odd, but I'm just happy that I was able to fit it in the bottle. Alright, here are some celestial keys that I have redone. If you look at these versions compared to their tutorial counterparts, I feel that I have improved a lot and they are just a lot cleaner and neater than the ones in the tutorials are, but I'm still happy with how they turned out. And if there is a key that you see here that does not have a tutorial yet, please don't worry because I will get around to making all of them, I promise. They just take a really long time to make. And keep your eyes open for one that will be coming up within the next week or two. Here is one of the comparisons that you guys can see. The one on the left is the key from my tutorial and the one on the right is one that I have remade and just changed a little bit, just making it more clean cut and like the original. Next we have this flat back Elsa chibi and I'm not a huge fan of how it turned out. I think that I made it a bit too basic and I think I'm going to try redoing it soon. Last but not least is this The Little Mermaid figurine. I really like how this figurine turned out. I think I was able to put a lot more detail in than I have with other figurines. I think I kept it clean and simple and I added a few rhinestones to the rock just to jazz it up a bit. That's all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed my charm update. I know it wasn't very big, but I do promise there will be a Celestial Key tutorial coming soon. Please let me know what your guys' favorite charm or charms were down below and leave me any suggestions for charms you guys want to see me make. If you guys like some of these charms, they will be in my Etsy shop, link in the description below. That's it for now. I hope you guys liked my video and I'll see you soon. Bye!